I don't think I would be half the man I am today without psychedelics. A critical part to the development of my current life philosophy and understanding of myself, I believe has come from psilocybin and LSD. Now, I'm not an expert on these topics, but I have done my research and I have done research on myself through the use of these. And luckily, it is something that is not becoming as taboo as it was 30 years ago. Many research centers that are dedicated to studying psychedelics have now opened up and the effects of how it can treat depression and PTSD is becoming more and more widely known. So today I wanna to take you through how these drugs, even though I don't like calling them that, have impacted my life, have impacted my success, have helped me with depression, and how they can possibly help you. So to give you some context, I have taken shrooms and LSD both like three or four times now. I don't know the exact number. I've never once regretted taking it any of the times that I've done it. It's always been an incredible experience and I always come out of it with something new. Now, the last time I've taken psychedelics has been almost a year now, but just so you can get an idea as to how this drug affected me and how it might affect you, I wanna take you through the best trip that I ever had when I decided to take an eighth of shrooms with a few of my buddies and go to a hiking trail near my hometown in Buffalo, New York. So we decided to take the shrooms 15 to 20 minutes before we were gonna arrive. We drove there just to make sure that it would kick in right when we got there so i ate my bag we're in the car and about 10 minutes in it starts to hit and i didn't really think this one out because i had never taken an eighth of shrooms before and because it was so much it started to kick in earlier than i thought it would and when it started to kick in i definitely had some anxiety and this happens with all psychedelic trips no matter what you take but it was definitely a little bit stronger because of how much I took. If you guys have taken psychedelics before, you know that on the come up, you get a little bit of anxiety. My brain was starting to switch to psychedelics mode and luckily we arrived just before I was going to start feeling nauseous. I definitely felt it coming to me and that happens and it's totally normal on the come up. So we make our way down to the hiking trail, which was at water level with this river. We're going down these large stone steps that are kind of carved into the ground. There's a bunch of trees around me. And I remember during this time, definitely still had a bit of anxiety. It was still just kicking in. And as we passed by the damp leaves and sticks that had fallen to the ground, I decided to look up at the large array of branches from the trees. And for some reason, this triggered something in my brain. And all I could think about was how much those branches resembled nerves in the brain. I had this intense feeling that there was a connection with how my body is composed and how the entire universe is composed and I felt connected to everything within nature around me. Nothing seemed so much different from me and being in nature during that time was just an awe-inspiring experience. I can recall several times during that trip where I had jaw-dropping realizations, literally jaw-dropping, and I remember getting back from this trip and my cheeks hurt because of how much I was smiling throughout the whole day. I don't think I've smiled that much in any day since. The next couple weeks after psychedelics, I always feel so much more present-minded and so much less egotistical than usual, and I feel a lot of empathy towards others, but after a couple weeks, this effect seems to go away. What these psychedelic trips have really allowed me to do is realize that what I perceive on a daily basis is only a fraction of what is actually here in this universe. I'm currently in the middle of reading a book titled The Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley. And in this book, he describes his experiences with mescaline, which is the psychedelic compound found within cacti. The way he describes his psychedelics trip is really fascinating and worth reading on its own. But I think the most interesting idea from that book was what he called mind at large. This is how he comes to explain in English words how psychedelics change your reality. So what he proposes is that the mind at large is the enlarged, unfiltered perception of reality. The reason our reality looks the way it does is because our brain makes us see things and sense things that are in accordance with helping us survive. Even though there are so many things going on in reality that we cannot normally sense. He says, each one of us is potentially mind at large. But insofar as we are animals, our business is at all costs to survive. 
To make biological survival possible, mind at large has to be funneled through the reducing valve of the brain and nervous system. What comes out at the other end is a measly trickle of the kind of consciousness which helps us stay alive on the surface of this particular planet. So psychedelics open the curtains to this mind at large. And I really agree with this idea that there is so much more to reality than we know of. And it's just that our brain doesn't need to perceive all of reality in order to help us survive. So there's no point. And something else he talked about in the book that made a lot of sense was that when you take psychedelics, the part of your brain that is searching for survival type things, like I know that when I take psychedelics, I don't think about food at all and I'm not hungry at all. It kind of turns those parts of our brains off, the survival parts, and therefore it allows all of mind at large to flow into your consciousness. Now you might be asking, what is the point of all this? How has this affected my success and how has this really helped me with depression anyway? Well, in terms of how it's helped my depression, it has further enhanced my feeling of oneness of everything, of everything in the universe. It made me realize that self and other are really one and the same. They mutually coexist without you, I wouldn't exist because I'd have nothing to compare myself to. It's really hard to put into words what you are seeing and sensing and thinking about. But one thing is certain and that's the feeling of oneness and being connected with everything and that makes you lose your sense of ego and have a greater appreciation for the little things in life and have more empathy for others because you know that we are all one in the same. And when you come to these realizations and have ego deaths and you feel separate from your body and instead one with everything, you realize how powerful you really are and you realize that all of those preconceptions that you had of yourself are false. And with that radical shift in your mindset on reality, it makes you feel amazing, at least for most cases. I don't want to talk about psychedelics as if it's all going to be good because there are really intense experiences that are not going to be pleasant. During your trips, there's going to be thoughts and feelings that arise that weren't previously available to you that make you realize that maybe you don't really feel great about something you're doing or there's something within yourself that you find you hate about yourself and that's going to be brought to the surface and it can be really depressing in the moment. But this is a really good thing and I can contribute this a lot to my success. Thanks to getting access to what Aldous Huxley calls mind at large, parts of your subconscious mind are now free for you to explore that usually aren't. And so I've used psychedelics in points in my life where I've really need to figure out who I am and what I really want, like when my ex-girlfriend broke up with me. It's kind of like this new voice in your head you're not used to speaks to you. There's like some type of intuition you're able to listen to so much easier than your usual intuition when you're on psychedelics. And after every psychedelic experience, I feel like I learned something new about myself, which is why I've always had a positive experience with them. And this is why I believe it's affected my success so much, because when you are able to fully fully understand yourself at its most authentic, real level, then you become more in alignment with what you're truly meant to do, and success comes naturally when you're aligned like this. Nothing in life can unlock a new portion in your brain quite like psychedelics can. So if you're a newbie to psychedelics and you want to have the same success that I've had with psychedelics, do it with great people, get out in nature, do not be in like a super busy, smelly place, crowded, don't do that, that'll make you have a terrible trip and uh, just make sure you're in a relaxing, comfortable place. Really huge announcement, guys. I have just reopened up my Patreon. I'm gonna start posting on there again. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, it's a platform where you can pledge a monthly subscription to get exclusive content from me where I'll be talking about a bunch of topics. But the videos that'll be on there are the videos that I kinda wanna make on YouTube, but I can't really make on YouTube or they're just not the best for the platform. I'll also be revealing to you how I edit and behind the scenes stuff with my brand if you want to grow your own brand and i'll be taking suggestions from you guys so there's discord roles discord private servers and you can get personal work reviewed by me on my patreon so go check it out if you're interested in that it's patreon.com slash cole hastings the link will also be in the description it helps fund this channel and future videos like this as well as getting exclusive content for yourself. So go check it out if you are interested in getting to know me a little bit 
better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like for me and let me know what you think about psychedelics and your experiences with psychedelics in the comments below. I would really, really love to hear how they've affected your life and I am going to head out now. So have a great rest of your day or night. I think I'm lost. <laughs>